For this tech talk, instead of talking to someone, I'm going to talk about something I'm going to be talking about. This uh, network IP camera that I just bought. I have other ones like this, but I thought I'd do a little review and talk about this one a little bit. If you enjoy my videos and would like to see more, please consider becoming a supporter over at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. So earlier today I was walking through Sam's Club and I saw this camera here. It's a Swan Cloud HD. On the box it says it's model SW-WIFIPTX. It says that it's an HD camera of 720p resolution. And I thought, hey, that looks pretty good. It said the regular price was like $180 and it was on sale for $70 or $80. And I have a camera similar to this. The camera I currently have is a Wansview, W-A-N-S-V-I-E-W, -E which is just some cheap camera I bought mm, two years ago off of Amazon from China. I use it as a baby cam for my daughter. And this looks similar, and there's lots of cameras like this out there. And even though it was a little more expensive, the one I have now I think I paid $50 for. And this one, like I said, was $70 or $80. But this one was HD and also has a slot for an SD card. So I thought that looked like a good deal. So I bought it and brought it home and read through the directions. And in the directions, it only has directions for using an app on your phone. Uh, which is odd because most of these cameras have built-in web servers that you can directly access, which is what I planned on doing. Uh, and after doing a quick port scan with Nmap on it, I found that it had plenty of ports open, although I could not connect to any of them. I tried Googling the model of this camera, again, SW-WIFIPTX, and got absolutely nothing. I did find searches for the same model number without the X at the end, and there was a similar looking camera, but it was obviously not the same camera. Doing a little bit more searching, I did find a model that looks almost, well, not just almost, it looks identical to this one by Swan. It's called the ADS-445 Swan IHD, pan and tilt all in one IP network camera. So I'm assuming that that's the same camera as this, just maybe they released it under a different model number for Sam's Club. And again, it, it retails for $180. And I was unable to find any help there, although reading the reviews for those two cameras, I realized that they got pretty bad reviews because a lot of people were having the same problems. They could not get them working on their desktops at all, only through tablets, even though it clearly states and has pictures of laptops in the instructions um, and on the box. So finally I decide after you know doing some packet sniffing and port checking, not getting anywhere, contact company and see if they have any suggestions. And the only way to connect to the camera through a web browser from a laptop or a desktop, and I'm assuming that the apps are doing the same, is by going through their site. You have to register their camera on the site and then connect through their site. Now, I would say that I'm not extremely paranoid person, and when I hear people, you know, they put little uh, pieces of tape over the webcams on their camera and stuff because they're afraid someone might be watching them. I think that's a little silly and far-fetched. I mean, it could happen, but chances of someone watching you, like, whatever. So I'm not, I'm not that paranoid, but this company, the Swan Company, obviously is up to something. First off, never trust a company that requires you to install some sort of software or app for your phone or tablet to do basic tasks that your tablet or phone, laptop, or desktop should already be able to do. There's absolutely no reason that you shouldn't be able to log into this camera and stream some images or video either through a web browser or using a media player you already have installed on your device. Uh, so the fact that they're requiring you to install an app should send up red flags. Lots of companies really want you to install apps, but usually there's other ways around. But to have all these ports open on this camera and have them only function through their website it means that they went an extra step to make sure that you couldn't access it without going through their website and you couldn't access it without using their 
app on a tablet or phone. I guess maybe you can go through their site, site, but still, obviously they're wanting you to install something that's unnecessary, which should set up red flags. And now, from a paranoid point of view, you have to send all your videos and pictures and audio, because there is a microphone on this, through their website, to and through their website, which is just a little more of a red flag. So, no, Swan is a company I would not trust. Uh, they're, they're up to something. I'm definitely going to be returning this camera. Um, never actually even saw a picture come from it, so I can't comment on the quality of it. But it just fails in every aspect. Uh, I don't trust this company, uh, and their product is difficult to set up without jumping through hoops. So, as far as the Swan Cloud HD SW WI FI PTX, or possibly also known as the ADS 445 Swan I HD camera, I give it zero stars if possible. I do not trust this camera. The fact that I can get a cheap Chinese camera for $30 less that has more functionality than it, and that's $30 less at the sale price at Sam's Club, where the regular price is $130 more. No, I, 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 I'm, I do not recommend buying this product. And if someone from Swan is out there, I recommend talking to your developers, uh, because what they're doing makes you look very suspicious. Maybe you're not up to anything, but again, they've gone the extra step to basically invade you know, people's privacy by forcing you to send your video from your house that's constantly going through your website instead of allowing you to directly connect to it. Again, that's a nice option if someone wants to use that. But again, not only is it, you know, a privacy issue, it's a duh issue. If their servers go down, you're dependent on them, and you're using this camera possibly for security. What good is security if a server that you're not in control of and is where all the images are going through goes down. I mean, you have no control over that. So as far as security, it's not very good. And as far as your privacy, it's not very good. So that's all I have to say about the Swan uh, Cloud HD camera that I got at Sam's Club. And uh, so that's my little review of it. Don't recommend it. I'm telling you right now, uh, there are cheaper cameras out there that give you more functionality and, uh, in my opinion, better security and privacy. So, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you found this useful, and if you were thinking about buying this product, I would not, or any other product made by Swan.